Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. Getting ready to release some new fish into my planted tank, but I think it needs a bit of a trim. No light getting to the bottom. We'll take a look at a redo of my planted 55 coming up in this FinCast. I use Kemi Pro Elite. Um, I use it because it, it really helps to clear the water, especially when I do my water changes. It allows me to do water changes not as frequent. That's what I've found for my, my own personal use. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. And uh, today, I wanna talk a little bit about my Planted 55, which once again is going just a little bit haywire. It's, uh, uh, I've got the star grass in there. I've done a, another video on Planted Tank Gone Nuts. and. Of course, the summer months have been here and I haven't been doing a whole lot with it. So I thought uh, I would add some more fish to it. And I also was thinking, hmm, probably before I start taking pictures of it, I ought to clean it up a little bit. So there's the aquarium as it is. And you can see I've got this nice growth of crypts on the bottom. Some neon tetras swimming around. My nubius are doing very well. Uh, I've got uh, a couple of snake skin barbs in there. But if you look over here, the star grass across the top is really going crazy. And, you know, I got to tell you that I don't hate the way that looks in terms of the security of the fish because they like having something above them. I've got baby guppies in the tank and they all hang out in there. I can show you a cutaway of that but what's happening is down here on the bottom the plants aren't getting any light on the thick side and so where i would like to see lusher plant growth i uh i don't have any uh, and in fact they're they're doing terrible uh, they really are sorry you can see my reflection and all that but we'll step around the edge of the aquarium the aquarium is very healthy it's very clean some driftwood in there but there you go there's the you can really see it there the thickness of the plant so I'm gonna have to get on that and see if I can't thin it out a little bit leave enough for the guppies because they are getting nipped either by the garamis or the the barbs and just see what I can accomplish here And I'll be releasing some cherry barbs, which interestingly I have seldom if ever kept. But I think they'll give me some nice bright red against the leaves, against the green background. I do have a pair of sword tails in there, uh, brick red sword tails, and they look really nice against all that background. You can see how they kind of stand out. So I thought I'd try some more red fish. The other thing I've done is I've gone for a serious, serious upgrade on my controller for my CO2. This is the best controller that you can get to dose CO2 in your fish tank. And I'll talk a little bit more about that, but the one that I had before was an old one I've had forever. The brand doesn't matter, it was cheap, it was around $100, and I wound up having a big CO2 dump in the tank, so it was putting too much CO2 in the aquarium um, compared to what I wanted it to, and it, for whatever reason it just started releasing more CO2, and I lost a couple of fish because it poisoned the water, so fortunately most of them made it. I did lose a male albino bristlenose pleco that I just loved and had been breeding with the other plecos in the tank. And then I lost one of the brown females, but the other two survived. So anyway, uh, I've upgraded over there, and we'll be talking about that as we go forward with this tank. But uh, that is uh, 
That is a nice upgrade. Here are the fish that I'll be planning to release, and yes, those are zebra danios. So, compared to my reef tank, which have has a couple of fish that are probably worth, you know, north of a hundred bucks. Now I'm in my office and I've got zebra danios, which you can buy at the big box store for under a dollar. But you know what? Um, looking for some activity in the tank. And once again, I'm kind of harping on my back to basics theme. And I also want to show beginners some good fish. So uh, yeah, I've got some zebra danios that'll be going in the fish tank. Now you may have seen this goldfish in my B-roll. The fantail goldfish is probably going to be in this tank for a short time. The water is cool enough, I think it'll be okay. I have someplace else I want to put it, but it's not ready right now. And so this goldfish should not be in this tank with these tropical fish, um, but it's been quarantined with them and doing fine. And so the goldfish, yes, will be going in the planted tank. But before I could do anything with this fish tank, I had to get rid of that star grass on the top because it was absolutely taking over. And so I started digging in, uh, first of all with scissors and then just sort of gripping and pulling and doing whatever I could to get it out of there because uh, I knew that I could get everything to start growing back with the CO2 and I thought the new fish would be happy and healthy, but the star grass had just literally taken over. So uh, I got a bucket and I started pulling and pretty soon I got the aquarium to where I thought I kind of had that happy medium between, all right, there's still some cover on the top where the guppies can hide, but now the light would be getting down through and the other plants could enjoy it as well. Well, you can see already that's opened it up. So I'll be able to see my fish a bit more. I don't know how much the guppies are gonna be able to hide up in the top, but it's feeling a little better, a little more balanced. The next thing I had to do was trim some of the other plants. And fortunately I have some Bacopa, which had gone wild on the left-hand side of the tank. So I took the trimmings from that and tried to balance the tank just a little bit by planting another batch of Bacopa in the far right-hand corner. So I'm not thrilled with how that's looking right now, but it usually takes a couple of days and all of a sudden the plants will start reaching for the light. Instead of that curly Q looking stuff, they'll start reaching up and you'll have nice straight plants in the back corner. Some of them will undoubtedly come out where I've rooted them into the substrate. The plecos will dig some up. You gotta start with something. So here it is a couple of days later, and sure enough, those plants are beginning to straighten up. I've released the cherry barbs and added that red to the tank. Yes, my goldfish is still in there <laughs> and doing quite well. Neon tetras are much more visible now that there's some light getting down. And we can see that the uh, tank is doing much better. Uh, you'll see I, I did leave some plants at the top and there are still some baby guppies hiding in there. But all in all, I think that I have released some nice fish into the aquarium and the tank is just much better thanks to a little TLC. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next FinCast.